everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another favorites um this time it's going to be a slightly shorter one only because um i'm still at home still working from home so i don't really go out that much uh, i mean obviously they go here and there um for like a dinner or like a quick bite to eat but to be honest i'm not wearing a lot of makeup these days so i just want to share those few things that are really helping me while i'm trying to be safe okay so the first thing i want to mention is um something i've never mentioned or talked about before on my on my channel um <laughs> and this is why i really want to share it this time so um recently i've been having uh, a lot of hair fall um, and my nails were in a really bad shape they were chipping they were splitting and just really really dry and I've never had problems with my nails before but they were really struggling to grow so I thought I need to do something so I went onto Amazon and I found these lovely lovely vitamins um, they are in a gel form so this is the one that I'm talking about they are the sweet science company um, blackcurrant flavor gummies um, now I know you might be thinking you know problems with like people with, uh, who are vegetarian um, or have some kind of problems in terms of dietary requirements then I will say that this is um, allergen free, dairy free, gluten free, it's non-GMO and it's suitable for vegetarians. I don't think it's suitable for vegans but it is definitely suitable for vegetarians and honestly this is oh it smells so so good they taste absolutely lovely i just take two of these a day um, after my breakfast you can have them whenever you want um, usually with a meal and they have helped with my nails and hair so much they are literally magic my nails like literally just after i think i would say about a week after having these my nails are now so so strong it is absolute magic vitamin a vitamin d3 vitamin e c b6 b12 biotin zinc and selenium um, and i think biotin is what really helps with your skin hair and nails so um if you're also low in um vitamin d which i definitely was um that this is also very good um, option for that uh, next I am sticking to the nail category and this is again fairly new to me I've been using it for I think just over a month now and I get really really dry um, cuticles and I start and I start to pick on them and that's it's just absolutely the worst when I get my nails done my nail technicians like are you picking your nails again your cuticles again and I'm like oops I am <laughs> I shouldn't be but I honestly it's it's really bad um, so to help with that I got this now I'm sure a lot of people already know about this this is the Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover um, it's a tiny little bottle again I got it from Amazon you just take it out and put it onto your squirt it on your nails it's like a it has a funny um, smell but obviously you're not supposed to smell it but I smell everything I use um, it's like a gel texture you put it onto your cuticles leave it for 15 seconds then push your cuticles back and it just flakes off so you don't need like a cut or anything you don't need to pull them out or, or cut them out off you push it back you can just either um, it dries really quickly so you can either just rub it off your nails or go wash your hands and this is an absolute absolute um, lifesaver I'm going to stay in the same category for now so please bear with me recently because my nails are behaving I have been um, quite I've been dipping into a lot of like different nail polishes as you can see I'm wearing black nail polish this I've never ever in my life um, put black nail polish on but I thought you know what it's just let's try let's see how I feel um, I'm not mad about it it's 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 a big change I have to say um, so in case you're wondering um, the one I have on my nails at the moment is the Barry M Jelly High Shine Nail Paint in the colour Black Forest so um, I'm sure you've seen all the Barry M nail polishes by the way if anyone is interested uh, the Barry M nail polishes are vegan at least this one is so um, you know that's also a plus so yeah this is really really good I've got two coats on at the moment the first coat doesn't isn't really opaque 
uh, but the second one is is fabulous so I think because it's like a jelly texture it can sometimes become slightly translucent but um, two layers is more than enough and then I've got a few other nail polish favorites um, so the second one is this from SC this one's called Bahama Mama um, again if you follow me on Instagram please do follow me on Instagram if you still, if you still don't um, then I, I had this on my nails before I put the black one on um, and this is like a really old one that I've had for a very long time and I think I'm nearly out of it it's really really good when you put it on your nails I think the two coats uh, would give you like a really dark um, burgundy color it's really good especially you know while we're moving into autumn our colors like these really really are really nice um, but if you still want a bit of pizzazz and spring and you don't want to let the last strands of spring go um, then this is something that you would absolutely love uh, this is the SE called salt salt water happy um, again it's like a muted down I think it's like, it's like a blue but it's like a purpley blue like a bluey purple so um, again if you like a purple or like a blue um, then you can absolutely wear this again this is absolutely beautiful I had a similar color um, to this on my nails before I had the Bahama Mama one uh, for my uh, nail salon and I absolutely loved it so I bought some for myself um, so yeah that's also one of the colors that I really like and then um, to obviously top all of that colors um, I have the SC top coat now again I've had this for a very long time I'm nearly running out um, it's just their top coat now they I think they do do different top coats but this is the one which like the with the twisted bottle so it has like a gel uh, gel like finish and it's it's really really good I have to say though um, I do put two coats on like two co top coats on only because I use I don't know I don't know what I do like I chip my nails really really quickly so um, but with this they last a very long time I've had this for a few days now and like the shine is really really good um, so if you're looking if you're on a hunt for a good top coat then check this one out let's uh, go on to the face product so because I'm not you are wearing a lot of um, like makeup obviously I put this makeup on for you guys <laughs> um, I wanted to put something on my face that made me that just tiny bit more put together um, yet not feel like I've got a whole face of makeup on um, so for my skin this is what I'm using this is I'm sure a very fun favorite with a lot of people but this is very new to me um, this is the bare minerals complexion rescue tinted hydrating gel cream it is SPF 30 and I've got the color vanilla number two um, this one I have to say if you want to use this all over your face and you've got like I've got combination skin so my cheeks are quite dry but my t-zone is quite oily it's not drying but it's not glowy either but this is really good like a little bit goes a long way just put a tiny bit on um, and then you just rub it into your skin and it's like putting water on your skin but it gives like such a nice texture to your skin like you can you cannot see it but it just evens out your complexion it's yeah it is a complexion rescue it's really really good if you're still looking for something like that to use every single day these days and if you're not working if you are working from home but you just need that little bit of thing something something on your face then that is definitely um, a really good product to use uh, moving on wow we're going through these really quickly <laughs> um, I think this is my last thing uh, except for a few things that I've been watching on Netflix so uh, the next thing is my Mitchum deodorant now I cannot live without a stick deodorant so I use a stick and then I use a spray on top it might be excessive for some people um, I've actually always used um, either the Dove sticks or the Shaw ones I think my favorite are Dove but I do think that sometimes they can be too light and like, if you're going to the gym and you come back you I don't like I don't usually smell um, <laughs> if I can say so myself um, but I do find that I sometimes feel a bit sticky with this one the Mitchum one um, you don't so the one I have is the 48 hour protection triple odor defense in powder fresh the scent of this is really really nice I like powdery scents I know people might call me a grandma but it's true um, 
and it definitely absolutely a hundred percent keeps you um, very dry you don't feel like any stickiness or you don't feel like you're sweating or anything like that so I'm really glad that I actually found this um, again I got this from Amazon you can get it from Boots and wherever they've got different um, fragrances but I think my, I like the powder one because that's the kind of set I like so again if you're looking for something um, for new deodorant maybe check them out and lastly I want to talk about uh, two three or two two programs that I'm watching on Netflix at the moment um, the first one is Cobra Kai oh my god if you are a person who a, a, a um, late 80s baby or early 90s baby then you would obviously have watched Karate Kid I mean oh my god who hasn't so um, I don't want to spoil it it is a series um, I think they've, oh, they have two seasons right now I'm just about to finish my second season and I'm literally upset because I don't know what I will watch once this is finished um, they have brought back everyone from the from the original film so you've got um, Johnny the who was like the Cobra Kai main um, like evil villain person um, and then you've got a Ralph Macchio who is um, you know the, the, the cute guy from New Jersey um, and it's yeah I mean yeah Danny LaRusso that's what his name was Danny um, it's it's just really really good please go and watch it um, if you don't like it I, I really do hope I, I'm sure you will like it because yeah I can't stop watching it and I've binge watched it um, one after the other I literally had to stop myself and pause and say right I need to leave something for tomorrow because I think I think I would have watched the whole two seasons in one sitting um, and I also like the fact that their um, episodes are not like an hour long they're like 25 20 25 minutes so which is why I think which is why I went through them so so quickly um, so please do go watch that if you haven't um, and the second thing I think it's not on, I think it's an Amazon Prime if I'm not wrong um, and it's Cougar Town <laughs> which has Courtney Cox in it I I don't know why I didn't watch this before. They've got loads of seasons, and I'm just watching them one after, like even in, just in the background while I'm doing other stuff. Um, it's really funny. They've made it really well, and the characters there are so like so dysfunctional, and yet they like make a really good team. I really, really like that show. Again, it's not a new show. Um, Cobra Kai, def Cobra Kai definitely is a new show, but Cougar Town is quite old. But if you're looking for something to watch, to have in the background and just you know every so often just you know have a laugh and whatever just just yeah just have in the background and that's definitely one of the things that uh one of the shows that you would absolutely like so um yeah um i think i've rambled on enough uh, already so i will see you guys uh hopefully next month with some more favorites and yeah i will see you guys in my next video See you later guys, bye.